The Who's Got Next Sports Showcase, brought to you by Wingstop, Victory Sports Academy, and Get Recruited 365. Join hosts Marcus Beckwith and Jessica Burr as they discuss the latest recruiting news, interviews, and game recaps impacting the country. Who's Got Next Sports Showcase, Sunday, 9 a.m. on the CW Network. If you are looking to gain the edge as a recruit, contact Get Recruited 365 at 318-300-3659. Welcome to the Who's Got Next Sports Showcase. I am your host, Marcus Beck. We're here on behalf of Get Recruited 365, Victory Sports Academy, and of course, Wingstop here in Westmoreland, Louisiana. Today, I have with me Class of 2016 prospect down there at Wildman High School, Mr. Brandon Marshall. Uh, if you don't know much about Brandon Marshall, when I talk about this young man, I say, if you watch his highlight tape, there's no way you can't help but fall in love with this young man. Uh, a ferocious defensive tackle down there at Wiseman High School coming up on his senior year. Uh, so we're here to kind of discuss his recruitment, his plans for the upcoming summer, uh, colleges that are interested in him as his stock continues to rise. Brandon, I'm, I'm glad to have you here with us today. Um, let's go ahead and roll right into it. If you don't mind, give those coaches your measurables. How, how tall are you? How much do you weigh? 6'1", 305. 6'1", 305 pounds. A four-year starter down there at Wiseman. Uh, we were talking off camera about you having the uh, opportunity to play with your brothers uh, for a while. And I can remember people talking about those Marshall brothers down there at Wiseman. Uh, so none of you all, you, you nor your brothers, disappoint, man. You just, you all are ferocious players on the field. All right, Brandon, if you don't mind, uh, how many tackles were you, were you averaging per game? I said 10 tackles per game. 10 tackles per game and about one and a half sacks per game. Uh, which is crazy when you think about that level of production for a guy who's facing doubles and triple teams before the season even ended out. Um, let's talk a little bit about your summer plans. I know you told me that uh, Coach Smith has you all, you're going to be hitting a lot of the camps this summer. Uh, so a lot of the coaches that are out there are going to have the opportunity to see you uh, in person and get a chance to kind of see how you move, uh, kind of see how you talk. Are you excited about that opportunity this summer? Sure. Okay, definitely. And, uh, you know, like I told you before off camera, man, once you go out there and you you do your thing at those different camps, man. We'll come back, we'll update uh, the coaches to let them know, hey, man, this is what's going on with them. This is where his head is at. Here's the schools that's interested in them. Here's the schools that is offering. Um, let's talk a little bit about college. You know, what what are you hoping to gain by playing football in college? I hope to gain more experience, learn right, different ways, and come up with uh, different techniques. Okay. I to expand my education. Right. Definitely want to expand your education. Got that 3.1 overall, excuse me, core GPA, like a 3.2 overall GPA, but got that has that 3.1 core GPA, which I know is music to coaches' ears, has that ACT score of an 18. Uh, so this is a young man that has the game on the field and he's doing what he has to do in the classroom, qualifies this young man that's waiting on that opportunity from the coaches to, you know, just give him that opportunity where he has the ability to play on the next level. Um, have you kind of decided on what you want to major in in college yet? Or? Still kind of undecided, still looking to decide. Yeah, still got time to kind of decide. Got to, going into your senior year, got another year of ball ahead of you. Your last season, man, as a Wildman Wildcat, man, it seems crazy. I was talking with Cam the other day about it. Seemed like time has just flown by for you all, man. Uh, what do you What do you feel in heading into your senior year of football? I'm gonna go by this fast. <laughs> no, you all are looking forward to that championship. Uh, got a big test week one, opening up against West Monroe at West Monroe. Um, so it's going to be a lot of people at that game, a lot of eyes going to be there. Uh, once again, another opportunity for you all to showcase your skills, man, and just let people know what you all are bringing to the table. All right, let's kind of shift a little bit. Um, you told me uh, off camera that you got a school around here that's kind of showing some interest in you. Some co coaches uh, got that level of contact with you, just trying to see where you at towards the school. If you don't mind, tell us what school that is. ULM, uh, Coach Former out there at ULM is getting on the Brandon Marshall train. Uh, so you other coaches that are out there watching, man, this is a guy I told you at the beginning of this that his stock is going to continue to rise, and he definitely uh, has next. I mean, he's got the game, he's got he's got the grades. Uh, so he's just waiting on that opportunity. And now it's about you all learning more about Brandon Marshall, seeing what he's bringing to the table. You know, Brandon is one of those guys that's uh, – He's not going to talk much. He's just going to deliver. He's going he's gonna to deliver and produce on the field. Uh, you know, he's, he's going to show you with his actions more than he's going to tell you. Uh, so you need to know that going in uh, when you're recruiting a young man like Brandon. Uh, you know, just be as honest and open as you can be about your plans for him and what you see him bringing to your program. And you're going to get that level of production out of him as a young man. 
Uh, before I let you get out of here, Brandon, if you don't mind, give those coaches your contact information. Could be your Twitter, could be your mailing address, could be your phone number if you want to have it. Uh, but just ways that they can get in contact with you. You can contact me on Twitter on the score of Okay. And uh, we'll make sure we put that information up on the screen so you can follow him on Twitter. Uh, as always, you can always contact us at Get Recruit 365 on Twitter. Uh, and we'll make sure, hey, if you if you want to get his mailing address, you want to get a phone number on Brandon, we'll get that information straight directly to him. The goal here is to make sure that he gets the opportunity to play college football, to have his education paid for, and for you coaches to have the opportunity to not miss out on a solid young man as well as a great uh, football player. All right, well, thank you for tuning in to Get Recruit 365. Who's got next spotlight? We'll see you.